this tutorial, we're going to be learning about a line tray. Why do we use a line tray? Well, if you're fishing on the coast, you've got big rocks or there's brambles or obstructions on the ground that are going to catch your fly line. You need to use a line tray. I first learned how to use one of these in Holland on Lake Oostvorm, which has a dam wall built up of man-made big blocks. They're very sharp and spiky and uh, most people over there use a line tray. So that's where I learned how to use it. So what does it do? Here I am retrieving the line and instead of it falling on the ground, it gets trapped, in this case, on these little sort of spikes sticking up. But the spikes don't hold it down, they just keep it organized so that it can fly off the line tray uh, when we shoot line like this. Okay. There's another reason why we use a line tray when we're trying to get distance and in conjunction with the double haul. Look at how far it is on the ground there. If I put my running line on the ground, okay, we don't have any obstructions, it's just on flat grass here. And then I haul. You see, the distance it takes for the line to come from the ground up to the first stripper guide there is greater than if it only had to travel from here. Let me show you that cast again. Let me put this out. Okay, let's strip this now onto our stripping guide. Now it's at waist height. It doesn't have to travel all the way from my feet. See that? It's just about gravity and how long it takes the line to shoot through the guides and a bit of weight, you know. So that's why we use a line tray.